Hello, it's Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about unit testing. So this is a very quick introduction to unit testing, how to do it with JUnit, and for that we are going to use this very simple application that I developed in a previous video that you can check if you uh, go to the description of this video. So uh, the app is pretty simple, it has a date picker, a button, and it calculates the age of that person. Uh, the code uh, it has a value in view with a date picker, the button, click listener that calls this method. But the interesting part is that we are using this service that it's injected here by Spring Boot. And then, well, that's what we are going to use the H service class, all right? A very simple one. So, one method and it's implemented in one line also. So, Unit testing, right? What, what is that? So, a unit test proves that certain method works uh, under certain uh, circumstances, right? It's important to uh, remember that what one unit test is uh, concerned with only one method, okay? So, this is the one we are going to use as an example. We want to test this. So the cool thing is that since we are developers, we can use also code to test this, right? And that's uh, how you do it uh, with the unit. So this is the uh, this is the project, and uh, as you can see, it's a Maven project. It has the main uh, directory with Java code, and it has this the, the main application, and then you have the test directory also for tests and you can code them in Java. So you see that we have the same package here that means that all the tests that we are going to add here correspond to the classes that are here, okay? Let's ignore this for now. I'm going to cover this in a later video, but uh, let's continue with the, with this example. So we're going to test, we're going to uh, uh, add a unit test for this class and this method. So. Let's create a new class, H service test. So it's important that you use uh, this at the end of the name of the class. And then what you do here is you uh, add methods, and each method is going to be uh, one unit test, something like this. So this is, uh, I don't know, test one or whatever. And then you can have many of these, right? Now, um, since we're using JUnit, we have to use this annotation for the org, the JUnit package. So that means that uh, later, uh, this method is going to be invoked when you, we run all the tests in this class. It's going to be the, only this one though, but, but um, in a real life scenario, there are going to be many probably. The second thing that you have to remember is that uh, you should use very descriptive names here so so that you can quickly uh, understand what's going on when something uh, is, bro is uh, broken. So, because you are going to run these tests, you, you, you might have a lot of tests, a lot of classes in your application. And so if you just read that it's inside this class, you know that something happened in this class. The problem is here for sure, and then you read this, and then you 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 kind of know what is the problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So maybe we can test here that this returns the uh, correct age given certain date, right? So let's name this should return correct age. So if it fails in the future for some reason, then we know that because when, when it fails it's going to show th this name right all this so we know that it didn't return the correct age just by reading this so that's that's good all right so how do you run these tests well there are several ways but most ideas have support for j unit so in this case IntelliJ idea shows um this option here to run exactly that test or if i'm over here all the tests in that 
uh, in that class. Let, let's just go ahead and run the test. It's not testing anything, so it's going to pass successfully. Uh, but it's uh, it's a good exercise. There you go. So nothing failed because there is nothing there. Now the other way to uh, run these tests is by using Maven, so Maven test, and then that's going to uh, run all the tests that are inside the uh, these um, directory. Okay. If you're using IntelliJ IDEA, you can go to the Maven view and click the test lifecycle as well. That's equivalent. All right, so this uh, so this is uh, uh, not failing. So, but if we throw an exception here, something like this, and we run the test, then this is going to fail. And you get kind of a report that shows where where the the problem was, right? So you get that, yeah. There's a runtime exception right there. But now we can do something more meaningful. So we want to test that this age service dot get age by birth date method returns the uh, correct age. So first we need a new age service and we need to call that method local, local date now minus some years any amount of years doesn't matter let me put this in a different in a separate line and if you think about it this is the expected age right so this is the correct value so let's call this expected age and what we get from uh, this uh, call it's the actual it's the actual age right so what we actually uh, got now we need to compare those two we need to check that actual or we need to check if actual age is not the expected uh, the expect expected age we should throw a new exception right but since we're using the unit and this is very uh, a very common thing to do when you are uh, doing unit tests then you can use or uh, you can imagine there is a method for that somewhere and that's in the assert class and you can assert kind of uh, several uh, in several ways things so for example we can assert something to be true actual age equals expected age and if not if this is false then this is going to uh, throw a an assertion error okay now this is okay but i like to use another method which is assert that and then this receives the actual value and then a matcher and so you have the core matchers class dot quite a lot of them we are going to use is expected h and if we use uh, static imports here and there then we can read this almost in plain english assert that actual age is expected age so this is pretty cool I, I like it a lot so i prefer to write the uh, init tests this way good so before we run this let's uh, imagine that we are refactoring this method and we accidentally uh, introduce a bug now when we run the unit test we should see that it fails so it's running and uh, there we go it's not green and it says assertion error expected is 44 but it was 43 and then you can go to the line that calls that and read it in english again 
almost in plain English and see that okay so it wasn't the expected one it didn't return the the, the correct value and it's uh, this method so let's, let's go there you fix it you run it again and it should uh, pass if the method is implemented correctly let's see there we go so it's uh, everything is green so it works so now we are kind of sure that the method returns the correct age right so uh, like i explained before you can use maven test to run these uh, methods did i explain that though i don't remember anyway so you can run all the methods in this uh in this um, directory with maven test and that means that for example you can configure a continuous integration server that it's listening to your repository then you code something you push the changes to the repository then the continuous integration server builds the application and runs the all the unit tests that you have here and that one's going to fail so you can configure the continuous integration server to send you a notification to developers an email for example and so you immediately know that something went wrong and you can fix it quickly so that's uh, what you would like to do in a in a serious project where you might end up with tons of classes you should add a lot of unit tests where, where it makes sense and so that if you have a continuous integration server that you should uh, you will get these notifications immediately and you can fix things before going to production so uh, I think that's it for this video I hope you learned something and in the next video we are going to uh, do something very interesting which is how to use unit test and JUnit with a Vadin view like this so we are going to do uh, something here and and uh, and we're going to learn about what a mock is and uh, so if you want to uh, learn about it just check out the next video